What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Four and Fork YouTube channel. Today we're cooking a meal from Bulgaria and it's a Bulgarian crepe called, excuse my pronunciation, palachinki. Um, we're gonna be filling it with honey, butter, strawberries, and it's gonna be delicious. So I have some good news for you guys today. The way to make these crepes is really, really easy because I just need to take all of the things that are on this table in front of me and put them in this blender. So we're gonna start off with four eggs. So I'm just gonna crack all of these one by one into the blender. All right. Then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, a third of a teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of melted butter, one cup whole milk, and then our secret ingredient that makes these crepes Bulgarian instead of French. So we have some sparkling water here, and we're gonna put one cup, <laughs> just sprayed on my shirt, one cup of sparkling water into these crepes too. So this is what makes the difference because normally French crepes, when you taste them, are really like doughy and chewy and a little bit elasticy. like when you kind of pull them with your fork, they tend to stretch a little bit. But Bulgarian crepes aren't necessarily as stretchy like that, and the difference is because we're putting sparkling water in there. So I don't want to say they're tough, because they're definitely not tough, but they're just a little bit less elasticy because of the sparkling water. And then, lastly, we have one and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Just got all over my counter, too. All right, there we go. And then all we have to do is just put this lid on here and hit go. I'm gonna scrape down the sides a little bit just for good measure. Make sure we got all the flour incorporated in there. Keep my hair out of it. And then mix it up one more time. and we should be good to go. Out of the 37 types of bats that live across Europe, 32 of them live in Bulgaria, and they live in the 4,500 chartered caves all across Bulgaria. So to actually cook these crepes, you're gonna need a stove, a pan, a ladle, and some nonstick spray. So take your pan, spray some nonstick spray in it, easy step, and then what I like to do is take my pan off of the heat and pour a little ladle of batter into it. Need a little bit more. And then while the pan is off the heat, kind of tilt your pan so that it spreads that batter around really thinly. And then once it's spread around like how you want, then you can put it back on the heat and let it cook. Now, if you're a fancy schmancy person and you have a crepe maker, by all means you can use that, but for all of us people that don't have them, we gotta get by with a pan. So I have this on really low heat, and I'm gonna let it cook until I see that um, it kinda glazes over the top. You know, it's cooked all the way through on the top and it's browned on the bottom, and then I'm gonna use my spatula and flip it and cook the other side. Our crepe is hot off of the stove, and now we're gonna do the fillings to it. So normally in Bulgaria, the fillings are a little bit different than they are in France. So in France, sometimes they'll use Nutella and bananas, they'll do a lot of really sweet fillings. In Bulgaria, it's a little bit different. So a lot of times they'll use jams as fillings, but today, we're gonna to be doing a different Bulgarian style of filling, which is butter and honey. So I'm going to butter my Bulgarian crepe and then put a little bit, little drizzle of honey right there in the, in the middle. And then we're gonna roll it up. So sometimes in France, they'll quarter it, so they'll fold it in half, and then they'll fold it in half again, and they'll make it that way. I, today, am instead going to just roll it like a roll up. And then I'm going to eat it. Give it a little taste test. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is just butter and honey because then you can taste the crepe really well and you can taste the fillings and it is delicious. So if you want the recipe for this, 
It's going to be on my blog, www.foreignfork.com slash palachinki, which is going to be uh, written right there so that you can see how to spell it. All right, thanks so much for stopping by, and if you come back next week, we'll be making more exciting dishes from all over the world. Bye. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there, and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.